right, we put some doors in on the first floor, and then we want to go, now we want to go ahead and put in that circular window um, that we have on the, on the third floor. So if we look, there's a little circular window in this guy. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. There it is. And we're just going to put this one window in, and we're going to keep it really schematic. We're not going to do the reveal or anything for right now. Um, that'll be something we could potentially do down the road. Um, but for right now, we're just going to put the window in with glass. So we're, again, keeping it really schematic. All right. So to do that, I'm going to go to my plan three. And I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to load a family. And I'm going to navigate. And you are going to navigate to wherever you save those families that I gave you. And in the windows is a round with glass. And just open that. And it'll load that in. And now we're going to go to insert, or we're going to go to architecture. And we're going to go to window. Um, I'm going to zoom in. That window is kind of over here in the front southeast, right? So go to window. And it's going to bring up the... Um, round with glass because we just loaded it, but I'm going to go and instead of 48, I'm going to pick 36. I'm going to click 36, and I'm just going to come over here and click right there on that wall. Now you'll notice that it put a tag on it. So if I click on window again up here, you'll see that tag on placement is actually showing. So if I were to put another window here, it would tag it again. That's the same type of window. If I were to choose another type of window, like a 48, and place it, it'll change the, the tag type. So basically, this is a, a way of identifying the windows in a construction drawing. We don't really need these, so we can delete them. And then if you don't want them to come in when you put your windows in, just toggle this tag on placement, and the next window you put in will not be tagged. And you can always go back and tag it later, but we don't really need tags. All right, so I'm deleting all those other windows, and then I'm just going to go to uh, my east elevation over here and take a look. Let's go to hidden line. All right, so there's that window. So you can pick this, and it has a sill height of two foot six. You can change that to three feet if you want. It'll move it up, or you can go to the pull down and flip it out. You know, for 48, or if you think maybe that's too big, you can edit type. Duplicate it, and we'll make a 42, and change that to 3 foot 6, All right? And click OK. And so now you have an opening that is circular. Um, I'll leave it up to you to figure out where exactly does you want that window to go at this point. OK. Um, so... You can put in multiple different types of windows, and I did want to mention that one of my one of the difficult things about Revit is that if you use the out of the box stuff, so if I go in here and I pick, you guys are going to have one too, like a fixed. Let's just do a fixed 24 by 48 window, and I click that in, and actually I put it in backwards. The glass will typically go to the outside. It looks really specific, and it has a jam and all these little windows. And if you go to 3D view, right? So if I come in here and go to my 3D view, it's going to be like brown and have this frame and this trim that has nothing to do with like the schematic ideas that you might be working with. It's really more of like a residential window. So I would definitely stay away from these. Um, if you look at the windows that I gave you, um, in fact, we'll do that in the next video. I'm going to leave this one short, and then in the next video, I'm going to take a look at the windows and doors types that I gave you and sort of talk about those. Okay.